So to all the fam in Telegram in MXB University, thank you very much for the um, positive vibrations and support. Uh, keep sharing it along. I appreciate it. Um, as you know, right, they say vulnerability sells. Well, I built a vulnerability assessment company, very big one. So, you know, the vulnerability of the situation is um, no one has been attacked and mistreated. Um, I literally am in the Grateful Dead. Now the song going down the road feeling bad. I don't want to be treated this whole way. So what is MXB University? MXB University is basically, it is a survival uh, book, if you want to look at it. Um, I, I've been watching a lot of what the coaching is out there. Um, I am the son of a Wall Street banker. I am the son of a, uh, an emergency room nurse, right? Irish Catholic, married a Protestant, right? Wow, wow, back in the day. So as we always say in the Burns family, you know, we will, um, you know, we'll save your life, but we're going to charge you, right? So as uh, an absolute uh, iconic salesperson, candelabra that I am, uh, and as an iconic recruiter to the point where the only thing I like doing to recruiters is firing them um, or selling those companies off and saying I want nothing to do with them because they don't really care about people in the long run. They care about the fee. Um, I built Shield Diamond Love during the pandemic. So a lot of you have seen my house and all the paintings and all this uh, ceilings and, you know, it takes a while to do all that. Um, I am a true expert, extrovert. I am an extrovert posing as an introvert. I'm actually not that smart. Um, it's just through my trials and repetition of so much trials and repetition, I just learn a lot, right? Um, uh, fundamentally, uh, I'm more like Jerry Garcia. I'm actually a pretty slow learner. So, um, but as a Dostafarian in the Lion of Judah, true Leo, um, you know, it, Leos are the voice. So what I'm showing in MXB University is just a playbook. Um, think of it like the cliff notes if you don't want to take the test. Fundamentally, I have fantastic work ethic, but I'm super lazy, right? So I'm always looking to cut the line, right? People say cutters finish last. No, they don't, okay? Now, am I cutting someone to push them back? No, I'm cutting to go through fast faster. Right, whether it's a process, whether it's a middleman, whether it's a purchasing department, whether it's moving outside sales into inside sales, um, whatever it is, I'm trying to streamline that process. And basically, by streamlining that process, I'm finding the WD 40 of life. Okay, so you know, like with that's a t shirt, what am I really doing? I'm stream, I'm finding a way to streamline what's going on, aka because you can't figure it out on the news anymore in a way that's a t-shirt that's digestible with a lot of satire. Once again, it takes courage to be happy. So as a great Wayne Shorter, Shorter said. So basically, one of the premises of being stuck in here for a while was definitely being in a position where um, was being in a position to have the time to actually sit down and go, okay, man, how'd you, how'd you build all these things, right? Because they were all pieces and they were all in my mind and they were all out of whack. So I basically put them down. It started really when we got into the cannabis industry because I was bringing technology people together with Hollywood people, with the, the California cultivation, OG scene, with money and business people from the back east and you could just see that there was so much misinformation that was lost through miscommunication. So what, when I built Shield Diamond Love, it really started with the shield, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, is the shield. So what is the shield, okay? So to really understand the shield, you have gotta understand a couple things, okay? So especially for Americans, okay, you have to start off with what's in it for me, okay? Because Americans just aren't going to do anything unless they know what's in it for me, right? They're just not, okay? We all know that. So a lot of what Shield Diamond Love is about because did technology, technology is taking over people's brains. 
Did people build computers or did computers build people? People built computers and now computers are building people. Like for instance, computers have no manners, which is why new generation of people have really shitty manners, right? Machine learning in the echo chamber is starting to work generation after generation. Look what's going on with TikTok, okay? So what this is really about is this is really about like, how do you think for yourself, right? How do you think for yourself? So a lot of what that means is think of your brain as like a computer. We have to really look at the startup disk and make sure that your risk analysis and your prioritization or your permissions are in line with where you're really trying to go in life. If you're a good person, if you're a bad person, I don't know what to tell you, right? So what's in it for me is um, what comes first for an individual should be their family, whatever definition of family is, okay? And their craft, okay? Because you need a craft to take care of your family. No offense to OnlyFans, it's not a craft, okay? Um, but there is some art to it. Number two is your faith and your pets. So your faith can be whatever you want, right? I am, you know, a Dostafarian, a deadhead raised by the Rastas um, after Jerry died. And, oh, here she is. And Fifth Element. Boop, boop. Thank you. And then your third, what's in it for you, priority, is your tribe. Once again, we don't build... I don't build companies with like blocks, right? When I go and do an endeavor, I'm building a tribe, like an F5 tornado or a Cat 5 hurricane, wah, 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 right? It's physics, right? There's a level of momentum to it that's pretty intense. Now, once you know that your family and your craft, which is cash as well, money's not gonna make you happy, but you need a lot of money, the faith in your pets and your tribe, over here, okay, you have your organizational priorities. One of which, the first one, is your tribe. Secondly, okay, is your team. And third is the individual, if at all, the individual comes last, and if at all, is focused on. Once again, when I first got into sales, the last person to get paid in the office was me. I had to pay payroll, I had to pay everybody out, I didn't have to pay rent. I didn't have to pay for benefits, but I had to pay the staff and whatever was left over, I got, right? But I knew how to make it rain, okay? So when you get into how companies are built, right? I'm sorry, how tribes are built or how civilizations are built, right? They need to have laws, rules, and norms. So a, pr a big problem in the startup community is a lot of what happens is it starts real loose, then the company starts doing well. It's like a SaaS company, an app company, and they get to 50, 75 employees, and start, you can start feeling it break down a little bit, right? It's losing that agility, right? So, um, very humid here today, so I'm not having a great hair day. Clock on the wall. So 